Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's up? I've got 1,000 robots for you. This company sent me this really cool robot thing, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So let's get into it right now. It's it's right here. Look down. Look look down. See see right here. Let's bust this open. One thousand wasn't lying. One thousand robots inside of this box. This is called Clickbot. Oh, stickers. Love stickers. We'll activate your Clickbot operations guide. Fun stuff there. We'll look at that later. Move this off to the side. Whoa! Look at that. We've got like the main little unit here. We've got some accessories. A lot of little ball things right here. Sure, we'll get into all these, and it looks like this pulls out right here. Whoa, there is more inside. Very cool. So just more pieces down inside here. So we're going to get into all of this right here. Uh, this ClickBot is really meant for entertainment, educational. Uh, they say it's very, very easy to build and inspire some creativity. So for your kids out there, this is something that would be pretty cool. Now, as a kid, I had a bunch of Legos, some Lincoln Logs, if anybody even knows what Lincoln Logs are. If you do, did you guys have Lincoln Logs as a kid? Let me know down in the comments if you guys had Lincoln Logs as a kid. The idea here is that we've got one central brain unit. This is like the head of the ClickBot. And then they use this modular connection or a clicking mechanism. Yep, there we go. Just click right in. That was pretty easy. And then we could probably click on another one right here. And you can just click and connect these and build what you want to build. Now, there are a couple of pre-configured robots, if you will, that we can build uh, initially. And there is an app to go along with it. So we're going to get into that. We're actually going to build this robot out. There's a couple of them. They're also going to be launching a brand new robot on Kickstarter, which I'm going to talk about here a little bit later on in the video. So be sure to stay tuned for that because it's an exciting new little robot that they're coming out with. But let's get into actually assembling this following the guide with the mobile app. So we're going to download the mobile app right now. Okay, so I've already downloaded and installed the ClickBot app, and I've gone ahead and connected the robot. They have some great tutorials walking you through exactly how to connect your ClickBot to the app. So don't worry, it's really straightforward. I ran through a little update uh and it was it was very easy to do so i've got clickbot here connected i'm going to go ahead and turn the uh the brains of it here on so this is the little head of the clickbot once we get this turned on we're going to go ahead and connect it to the app whoa it, it came alive there okay uh you swipe up from the bottom which then gives you options so there's a couple of different robots that you can build right out of the box there's bic there is Bach. Those are the two that come with it. Now, there's a variety of things here inside of the settings that you can go inside and do, but we want to actually build BIC here. So we're going to select BIC, and it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do here. So it's going to tell us exactly what we need to connect. Now, it's important that we follow along exactly what's showing you. So notice the little line right there. That line is important because we wanna make sure that those lines or the seam, as you can see right here, this is the little seam in between because there's a motor in between those two. We wanna make sure we install this in the correct orientation and it's gonna go just like this. It's actually saying there's an update to this module. So we'll just go ahead and click update now. Please assemble all your modules together for smooth simultaneous update. So this actually gets the wheels. So this, these are the wheels right here. So we're just gonna, they come pre-assembled and you just, you kind of put a little bit of force to it and pull apart at an angle and then they'll pop open just like that. So then we can assemble the wheels, make sure we assemble them the correct way. So these are called joints, which kind of makes sense because they, they literally are joints. And if you, I don't recommend forcing these without electricity going to it, but you can kind of hear the motors going back and forth there. And then this is called the grasper. And so there's a motor inside of there and you can connect it right there with that connection point. So that's another piece. What happens when we balance? Look at there. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Vic is alive. Um, well, hello there, Vic. I can see myself right there in his face, but he's kind of just hovering. So. You notice he's self-balancing right there. Whoa, probably not a good idea to do this on a raised surface, but he is bumping up against the track pad right there. 
and not going any further. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Huh. <laughs> he, he's gone a little crazy. It does appear that he's, I don't know, kind of aware. I don't know if he's aware of me or not, or if he's just randomly doing stuff. Oh, and there he goes. If he falls over or runs into a thing, what we can do is we can just set him up and hold him for a second and he'll self balance again. He's just sleeping. Whoa. I don't know. Like, they say he likes to be pet. <laughs> That is kind of funny. Let us connect to him before he goes a little crazy. Now you can connect via hotspot or you can connect via Wi-Fi are your two options. Other connection model, hotspot. Okay, so let's try the hotspot method. Start scanning. And then you can actually scan the QR code. Join to the hotspot. Okay, so we're connected now. Left and right. Reverse. You can just control it like a little robot. Here's another one that's directly out of the app called the Big Grasper, and it has this very long arm with the claw on the end of it. It's super easy just to control with the mobile app. I could see kids getting hours and hours of fun just picking up things, moving them around, using the mobile app to control it, holding on to little objects like this holds on really well. There's actually a sticky part that goes onto the desk. They can control it, they can release it. Oh, there it goes. So it actually tells you and gives you a little indicator here where the next module goes, put it in the correct orientation, which is this. A few minutes later. Joint to the proper direction so you can snap it right in. Chances are there's going to be an update to this one, but there was not. You can see that we have them all assembled. Oh yeah. By driving a remote control vehicle. It's really pretty responsive. Now I'm I'm connected via hotspot right now. It's it's very responsive. I'm quite impressed at how responsive that is. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, rotates. And then this should be the open it. Yeah, there we go. So it's just one button tap to open or close it. And then if we close it, a little bit of a twisted action there, but let's see if we can pick it up now. All right, well. <laughs> Kind of like me at the arcades, never gonna get that teddy bear. But uh, it did it did kind of twist these apart, but I think they're meant to be pretty flexible. So this thing is, uh, this thing is pretty cool. I could see hours and hours of entertainment from this little robot. No matter what configuration you make, it's pretty cool. In fact, robot handshake. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Robot. Okay, you can let go now. This thing's pretty strong. You can let go now. There we go. Did it. I tested several of the other robots. They have put a lot of thought and engineering into these robots and the ones that you get at right out of the box, like the dancing one here are just hilarious. So with the full kit, you get a lot of components. There's tons of stuff that you can be creative with. This is gonna be great for kids that are just wanting to be entertained by the various personalities that this little robot has and interacts with human gestures and such, which is kind of fun. Uh, but it also can really help teach kids how to code. They have an entire online community that's in the app. You can learn and teach this thing coding and use actual coding scripts and such to be able to do uh, different pre-programmed movements, which is really cool and really stimulate a lot of the creativity and the imagination of your kids. Uh, I had a lot of fun just playing with it. So I can totally imagine if I had some young kids or nieces and nephews playing with this, I think I would probably get really involved with it and uh, having fun playing with it. And uh, hopefully that my kids or my nieces and nephews would actually get a chance 
to play with it because I find it very, very intriguing. All the various combinations, the possibilities are really endless. K-Tech is also launching a brand new robot called Luna that can hear you, have tons of cool interactions, and they're launching this on Kickstarter later this month. So be sure to go to yourluna.com to get on the early bird list. This thing is very intuitive, can recognize hand gestures, interact with humans in all new ways. So definitely be one of the first to get Luna. I am very impressed. You can pick up ClickBot on Amazon right now. The links are in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys supporting this channel by clicking on those links, supporting my sponsors. And I appreciate you guys taking a look at this video, learning all about ClickBot and the creative ways that your kids can learn to be creative, be use their imagination and learn some really cool life tools and skills like coding, interacting with other community members through the app. There's just a lot to explore in here. I barely scratched the surface of everything that they can get involved with inside of the ClickBot app. So download the app, purchase whatever kit you can afford on Amazon. The best prices are listed in the description of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. Really helps me out a ton. I've got a lot more man shed content coming here. I've got some new projects in the work that you do not want to miss. And if you missed my epic Minecraft gaming cave that I built inside of a boring shed, make sure you go watch that right now. Ignition override.